Hi dear Pisces, you guys, thank you all ever so much for joining me for your timeless love reading. Let's get a couple channeled messages to see what your person wants to tell you. At this given time, just to get a better outlook on the situation you're dealing with. Uh, do you still think about me? Do you still want me? Do you still love me? I need to know if I should move on. I am hurting. So your person is in a predicament where the situation is becoming hurtful to them, right? Whatever's going on with you, we'll have a look. <clears throat> I didn't feel like I was on your level. You're a boss. I'm very insecure. So you triggered this person, for no doubt. Like you triggered this person's paranoia. You triggered this person to feel insecure i'm only staying here for my kids nothing else i'm making my way to you so somebody already is in a another commitment potentially they have a family if that's the case if it's not resonating for you just uh, continue with the reading see if you can pick up any other messages that may resonate with you um i'm at crossroads should i fight for this or move on relationships are a lot of work being single is easier so you're dealing with somebody who just prefers their own space potentially they may have made that decision to, even if they're not in a commitment, they may still have children with someone or shared responsibility. So they're dealing with that now as opposed to dealing with any other new love situations. I couldn't give to like I wanted to because I'm still healing from my past. A lot of complexities here. The Right, let's see. What else does um, Pisces person want to tell them? I'm always excited to talk about you to my friends. So your person's definitely still mentioning you, talking about you to the friends. Maybe you have a, a joint social network. I recognize the potential between us, but I also harbor some uncertainties. Your person definitely has some trust issues. They have some insecurity. They have some paranoia here. They're really trying to work on themselves. This is what I'm picking up on. And we have two more. You're incredibly alluring to me. Let me just put that there. And... My heart isn't open to anyone because of, of how I was hurt in the past. Yeah, this is where all this trauma, all the paranoia is stemming from pretty much. Maybe there could be more between us, but I wouldn't want to jeopardize our friendship. So maybe, you know, you guys have history. You guys have been, go like a long way back, whatever the situation may be, right? Um, you built on a friendship. Again, maybe that's why there is this shared friends network as well, as I mentioned before. So that's why they talk about you to their friends if there's a possibility for that. So let's see what's coming up. Just that, um, wow, I'm freestyling this. There's no, um, there's no structured spread, okay? But the cards want to talk for sure. They do want to talk. The cards have something to say. It is a day after the full moon. So the energy is severely intense. You've got the six of pentacles. This person wants a give and take dynamic with you. This person wants um, some sort of charity from you even. Or they want to give you something. Charity could be your time, your effort, um, a gift, whatever the situation may be. Um, the Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody that you have a work endeavors with. This is somebody maybe you could have met at your workplace. This could be a fellow Piscean. Could be someone between the ages of 25 to 35. Blonde hair, blue eyes, lighter complexion. Um, this person, whoever you're dealing with, is a romantic, a hopeless romantic. But the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, we have this repetitive theme of three figures or three three people there. So I don't know if there's definitely a triadic involvement, but it doesn't have to be there's a family or another person. The th uh, triadic involvement can speak about, you know, your person not prioritizing you, them prioritizing work, them prioritizing the community they're in, them prioritizing their family, their friends, their whatever, you know? It doesn't just have to automatically delve into the other person, but that could be a possibility. Of course, we're going to get more insight here for you, Pisces. Um, wow, the tower. Okay, so there's definitely some unexpected, uh, uh, shocking love proposal coming your way. It could be from somebody at work, uh, if that rings true to you, if you fancy somebody at work. Uh, it could be somebody at a distance from you also, I would say. Because the Two of Pentacles can talk about overseas travel. It could talk about contracts. It could be talking about them proposing something to you of contractual value. Like, hey, let's buy a house together. Hey, let's get a car together. Hey, let's get a mortgage together. Uh, you have Leo energy here. Might be dealing with someone too above the age of 35. Strawberry blonde hair, green, green brown eyes, uh, lighter complexion. Um, so again, you might have a, a younger person you're dealing with as someone who's above the age of 35 Pisces. And then there's this yo-yoing effect between the two. 
this could also talk about your person being quite inconsistent and unstable deviating from being the hopeless romantic to deviating from being someone who can't sit still within this connection this person is traveling or there is distance between you uh given that the king of wands is looking at the map to the cat they may have a cat you may have a cat uh ginger cat orange cat they're called right okay um wow the king and the queen of wands there's definitely an implication of soulmate connection and also two people connecting on a very very deep sexual level um i mean the intimacy is magnetic it's great both of you connect on the physicalities of things you know it feels good it looks good uh you know the king and the queen of wands would be some someone who asserts dominance this couple will be the well-traveled couple that loves adventure, loves spontaneity. They're always on the go. So things may change. Maybe going from this very passive romantic situation, you're now headed into a connection where your person becomes a bit more proactive within this, a bit more sexually insistent upon you. The Queen of Wands is, uh, maybe you have Aries Leo Sag placements in your primary natal chart as well. This is coming through strongly meaning i'm going with this yes you may have pisces sun pisces moon pisces ascendant whatever this is you're watching this for pisces mars venus okay all are important placements to look after but it, it seems like your person really activates um activates your fiery nature if that makes sense they make you feel more alive they make you feel more in extroverted maybe you know you keep yourself to yourself and you do your thing but this person makes you want to be louder in the room if it's resonating click the like button because i want to see if that makes sense to some of you but i feel like this person makes you just get you going this person makes you maybe even want to do better exercise more eat better work better uh, look better not to say that you don't but i mean like you know when we fancy somebody right like they encourage us to try and be better to be more appealing and i feel like this person brings out the sex appeal in you or um this is somebody that's if it's like well i am single right now uh, this is definitely coming for you i like it for you you might be meeting this new person via travel or some type of holiday if there is two people you're dealing with or you will be dealing with two people because yes you can have this um water sign in your life again somebody between the ages of 25 to 35 piscean fellow piscean in particular could be cancer or um um can cancer or scorpio sorry um there is a person coming back from your past so this water sign could be coming back from your from your past as we say there is some shocking love proposal coming out of the woodworks with, with the judgment and the tower being here this is very karmic uh we are in mercury retrograde and this could be happening for you within the next two to three weeks we are coming up mercury retrograde in a little while at the end of august 26th of august i believe but there's that two week sort of withdrawal period i think after because we have like the pre-shadow stage of the shadow stage and then so the, the energy is still going to be there there's somebody trying to offer you some stable beginning okay um on the flip side there's a lot of different characters interplaying into your love life you might have an ex coming from your past your person might actually ha be having um, a, a wife, a, a mistress, a missus at home, a husband, boyfriend, you know what I mean? Uh, of course, this could be, wow. Okay, we have three queens. Three queens actually talk about deception by women. So please watch yourself if you have female friends or you feel like divulging information to people um, around you about the connection, about your life in general. I'll be, uh, I'll be careful what you, what you tell. I'll be careful. There are with this Queen of Swords energy here, with the Queen of Wands energy. I would assume Pisces, you are here, the Queen of Cups. Um, you may be a female with blonde hair, blue eyes in particular here. But to me, the three queens here talks about very, very vividly uh deception by women when it comes to your love life. So, however, this may apply to you, please apply to your situation, but also beware that the communications don't become too tangled up where you're telling people things may be oversharing and then you're finding out that this actually working in a disadvantage to your connection that could be people being jealous for a uh, uh, jealous about the connection they're trying to stir the pot a little bit um whoever it may be it could be friends could be family members could be co-workers could be competition 
people that want your person but there's definitely communication incoming from a fire sign and there's a, a new love uh, a new beginning in love you've got two aces here as well the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups someone's not willing to let you go someone's not willing to let you go pisces wow look at that you've got the emperor energy aries might be dealing with an older aries but someone's trying to manipulate somebody here through finances through exertion of power or some type of tyrannical dictatorship means it could be that your person will come in and they will confess they want to be with you they do love you but you may decide to withdraw because a moment into this beautiful new start you find out that this person is still how they used to be it's their way or the highway is their manipulative ways coming into play? Is them being greedy with their time? Is their vices coming into play? As we know, this could be gambling addiction with the Ace of Pentacles. This could be just overspending. This could be just being very um, careless with your finances, careless with your finances even, right? Whatever the situation may have been in the past, of course, Capricorn energy, Aries energy here. This could be signifying your divine counterpart or this could be signifying the inability of you to let go of your divine counterpart, although you know it's toxic, although you know it's very addiction ridden, it's very codependent. There is some travel. It could be some travel coming towards your divine counterpart, but this will be more so either within or after the next three weeks or in particular next capricorn i mean capricorn seasons or any time between december 22nd to uh the end of january 2024 to 2025 this is a faithed travel um so see how that may resonate with you the full there's definitely new beginnings for you in your love life coming up there's definitely um travel there's definitely maybe even relocation taking place some of you may be even relocating countries around between december to april 2024 to 2025 setting up a new beginning being very careful saving all your money in order to progress the future with your person or even if, you know if you have a partner you may be like you know screw this i'm done with this i want to get out of this matrix the rat race i want to just travel some of you just decide to take a massive risk and travel with your person and i do like that that's a that's something that you know everyone should do once in a while right some of you are actually choosing to choosing yourself. Some of you will be cutting off any residual garbage out of your life. There's a lot of back and forth communication. There's this new love. But in essence, if this person becomes too tyrannical and too addiction ridden and try to sort of um, create some type of trauma bond, I feel like some of you will be taking a risk and, and walking away from a situation to work on yourself because nothing gives you more pleasure or will be giving you more pleasure, Pisces, than spend, spending time alone, spending time in your own domain and working on yourself, whether it's just your planting, your gardening, your reading, your cooking, uh, looking after your house, looking after your family, looking after yourself. It's all about self-care and self-gratitude here for you. It's as simple as that. With that tower energy, it's like anything that hasn't, built, hasn't been built on a stable foundation in your life, you're cutting through it with that Queen of Swords energy. You know, um, there's so many different layers of meaning. It doesn't even have to talk about different characters or different women in particular. Um, or men that behave like bitches that you may be surrounded with as well, possibly. Uh, no offense to anyone, but you know what I mean? You know, the men that like to gossip and talk too much, I find it to be um, very uncanny because men are supposed to be men and exert action as opposed to sit in their emotions and bitch and moan all day. So it might be a... Uh, um, might be dealing with people like this as well. I don't know why I said it. I must have had said it. Look, and you've got another king. Commitment will come, but commitment will only come when you start realizing your value. When you start leaving things out in the cold that no longer serve you. When you start rejecting things that you know are not good for you, Pisces. When you start appreciating your own company a bit more, right? The sun and the king of pentacles may be talking about a taurus virgo capricorn coming into your life someone above the age of 35 black brown hair brown eyes tan or darker complexion here someone who could be self-made someone who could be very good with numbers could be a, a business owner an accountant chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here we know this with these people this could be the same person but this could be talking about this person being every a connection starting from physical flirt and then moving into something very solid very happy and something that makes you feel very stable and taken care of um passion so i did say chemistry and passion when these two cards come up it really signifies a very very um strong desire very good sexual chemistry it's like you know when someone touches you and it just tingles right good on you whatever's coming it's coming finances and career 
uh, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. With it say, as I say, there could be this emperor energy with the devil could even be talking about the fact with four of, pent uh, four of pentacles is that someone's withholding money from you. It could be an ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-boyfriend, a person, an ex-landlord, an ex-co-worker, whatever it may be, right? You are waiting for some monetary payout. Maybe you feel like once you get that monetary payout, you can embark on this new journey with your person. You can travel, you can relocate. So there's something coming for you. There's some type of payout calling in your soulmate expression of love this is your outcome by the way don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this reading for more check out my tiktok where i upload other videos although just remember it's only uh, transcripts from this one but anyway and then we have getting to know each other express your love getting to know each other and heart to heart conversations so there's definitely ability to deepen the bond finances and career may be affecting the situation so you may come in together with this person you may have a great time but you have to separate momentarily because there's some financial scarcity to deal with but uh, trust your intuition in this your intuition is right by this connection and there's going to be a conversation between the both of you so thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye